That's like 2.6 point the age of uh, of Linus Torvalds, I think. Yeah. Uh, so that that's well, the joke about why you didn't want to go up to uh, six six point forty. Um, <laughs> we can throw in a quick mention about the news that uh, Kernel.org was hacked. Uh, that was uh, briefly in the news uh, very recently. So uh, that the link for that uh, and the various comments will be on the show notes. I don't really think there's anything else we can add. We could probably put on our conspiracy heads and uh, suggest that uh, maybe there was a dubious uh, intention behind it, but uh, I don't think so. I think, well, I, I think the story well, is the way I understood <laughs> There's a nostalgia thing to Linux turning 20, you know, it's like, it, it's been here for a score, it's not going anywhere, you know, in spite of over a decade of some multi-billion dollar companies trying to, you know, get rid of it, it's, you know, it's actually integral in two main sectors of the tech industry. Uh, you know, the internet could not function without Linux at this point. Linux and Apache, I'm sorry, that's what runs the internet right now, with a couple of other alternatives to Apache on Linux being the strongest competitors. And uh, TV top boxes, phones, and the emerging mobile market is largely running on Linux. It, it So, I mean, it's not the, okay, next decade, next decade, next decade, you know, the, the world's here, if, whether it's tops and desktop or not. Mm. Yeah, a lot of people don't don't seem to have noticed the fact we only change brands a bit. So people are talking about Android, you know, succeeding and stuff. So they don't think Linux; they just think Android. And yeah, you can tell them. You know, they still use code from upstream to an extent, to a great extent, and they use it from uh, well, not necessarily from kernel.org, because remember, Linux code wasn't actually uh, hacked or cracked or anything. It's it's not the the, the core of the code. Uh, it's just the, 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 the website which presents the code and exposes the code and makes it available for download for most people who want to get it from some more official sources uh, have been uh, subjected perhaps to some malware. Uh, and what actually happened is, as I understand it, what actually happened wasn't really necessarily the fault of Linux. It was a, a bad password or some machine which was compromised, perhaps owing to somebody trying to access the... Uh, uh, the uh, repository or the website from a Windows machine, we, we don't train out for sure, but it's, it well, seems and, like... And the, the, that's the other thing when it comes to Linux. There's When you say Linux, there's two things. There's the Linux kernel, which like you said, you know, the, none of this would have anything to do with the Linux kernel. And then there's the Linux we all talk about, which is the various Linux operating systems. And I think, I think that's something that marketing-wise... You know, it's like people think Android, not Linux, or they think Ubuntu, not Linux, or whatever, you know, PC lands on what, whatever flavor they've been sold because they don't understand the difference. When people think Windows, they don't think NT. When people think uh, OS X, they don't think Darwin, you know. It's like, uh, it's just not the way the end user thinks, if I think what where that gets confusing for people. Well, shall we move on to our next topic? Yeah, so while we're going to mention something about the uh, latest news, which I found very disturbing, and I think there is a serious uh, chance that we'll see some uh, intervention from the regulators, because uh, the, as you probably know, and we've covered this before, uh, Nokia has been pretty much taken over by Microsoft, and you have like senior uh, executives in Nokia even saying, you know, it's, it's more of a takeover of the company, it's not really a deal with Microsoft. So Elop is running uh, Nokia now, and uh, he's given hints before about you know maybe using patents in the future, and I pretty much said you know we probably they probably will try and extort Android and help Microsoft by basically giving trouble to Android uh, using the extensive portfolio that Nokia has uh, to use against Linux. If 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 it chooses to, of course, Nokia used to be pro Linux and was developed for Ego, uh, but what they did. Well, and I was surprised to see some new Mego phones coming out, uh, which I've found really mixed signals coming out. But I think this is part of why a lot of companies are being bought right now. I think this is why Google bought, you know, Moto and, and so forth. Everybody is prepping for this patent abuse that you're talking about. Yeah, what, what actually happened is more of a... Uh... So Google thought it was going to be able to handle and to counter sue companies like Apple and Microsoft, or at least to deter uh, against future lawsuits. 
So what Microsoft has done is exactly what I basically even told executives in Google about, like this is not going to work because they'll just take the patents and pass them to a troll. Well, how do you sue back a troll? What, what does it have that you can sue over? Nothing. So what they did here, in this case, Microsoft, because Microsoft doesn't have so many mobile patents, they apparently, and, and they actually admit the role in this, so Microsoft actually has acknowledged the fact that it was part of the, uh, of the passage of about 2,000 patents from, uh, uh, from Nokia to a patent troll uh, based in Canada. Uh, and they basically say very openly their their plan is to take those patents into sue companies or extort companies and take money out of companies. Now, which companies would these be? So, as you know, what happens with Nokia and Apple? They settled, and Nokia agreed to uh, pay. Uh, uh, sorry, Apple agreed to pay Nokia, and Nokia agreed to basically drop the lawsuits and everything else. Um, so they have a sort of a piece in the same way that Apple and Microsoft and Nokia and Microsoft have these piece. They all basically group together in one team now, and they have those 2,000 pounds go to a troll. And this troll, the main target they have left for mobile devices now is basically Android. So you'd expect now this troll basically to start attacking companies with Android, or at least threatening them in some ways, and that's probably what's going to happen. Uh, so this is, this is again, this is Microsoft playing dirty, and the, uh, the, the, the goal of the thing is to make Android uh, uneconom uneconomic. So I had a discussion for an hour and a half with the uh, the, the president of the uh, the OAN, the Open Invention Network, and he also explained to me in the very same ways that I did say before. He basically confirmed what, I, what I've been saying is pretty much true. That their point is to try and raise the value, the, the the cost of Android to the point where it's cheaper to make uh, a phone with Windows. And also, mm -hmm. even if you buy Android, it actually serves as a cash cow to Microsoft, to Nokia, to Apple, instead of to Google. So it's it's complete distortion. Just the patents of pat these people start buying patents that don't buy products, which is ridiculous. No, and, and this is like is what you're getting at is why I think there needs to be a reform in uh, the patent courts. Um, both in the U.S., you mean both in North America and Europe, where if you want to troll, you have to go after the source. Like, if you want to sue Android, you don't sue Samsung and HTC. You go sue Google. Mm. Sue Google first. If you win, then you can sue HTC, Samsung, uh, and so on and so forth. Because then you have to go after the person with the money to defend themselves to even get to the ability to troll. That would put an end to troll. Who would you suits. go after if you want to sue uh, over something in Linux? Would you go after the Linux Foundation instead of Red Hat? Um, it's complicated. Yeah, you, you'd be required to. And that's not because the Linux Foundation is who is releasing the Linux kernel under the GPL that everybody's using it. So yeah, you'd have to go after Linus and the Linux Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> that would put an end to those suits right then and there, actually. Yeah, it's, it's not very sufficient, though, is it? I mean, it, it's not going to actually resolve the issue of competitiveness in this case, because um, for all sorts of reasons, but, but I, I just, um, I, I, just well, I, I just think it's a, the problem is a bit more profound than just the targets of the thing and just patent trolls themselves. So Some people say, oh, just get rid of patent trolls. Well, I, th saying it's I, I think what Rust, Rusty says actually makes quite a lot of sense if you think about it in terms of, say, a criminal gang. You can pick off the henchmen one by one, but there's always one to replace them. Uh, you go after the crime boss, and then you solve the problem. And if uh, if if there's nothing wrong, in quotes, with the uh, with the patent system, then I can't see uh, yeah, why there would be a issue. It's, it's almost as though you call the uh, Google the, the the ringleader of the the crime gang, or well, according to Microsoft or somebody with a claim um, over whatever patent they're well, trying people to. People who uh, are making these claims, that's what they're yeah, claiming, yeah. but they don't want to sue Google because they know Google can fight back. <laughs> it's like it's like me saying your gang is uh, is attacking my gang, but I'm not going to go after you. I'm going to go after your henchmen, and uh, it, it seems madness. So I, I, I'm with Rusty on this one. I think that's probably one of the, the best uh, solutions I've heard. Uh, there's probably a plethora of reasons why it wouldn't work. And, uh, one of the things they do and they get around with it is the uh, the fact that Google doesn't really make hardware or didn't used to make hardware, and even when they made the phones, the uh, the Nexus uh, the Nexus thing. Uh, that, that, may be, that may be changing in the next two years. That's what they're claiming. Well, because of Motorola, yeah. But yeah. What, what they try and do is to find patterns that somehow relate to hardware and the combination of hardware and software. So they will say uh, things that are very 
So, so they'll make it seem like it's very specific to your, you know, Android phone or Android device or something. Uh, and, and, and also I had this conversation of, or well, just over a month now with a, a person who's got about 16.